Yeah, yeah you ready to be there. <laughs> will be on. Breaking that one scripture now into three parts. Mm. Into three parts. But y'all do know that Paul wrote these books. Four books that he did write. He was incarcerated. And I can relate to that totally. Uh, I didn't write no books, <laughs> but God used me while I was incarcerated. Yeah. Yeah. Philippians 4, 19, the King James Version says, But my God will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Yeah. I say that again again. In Christ Jesus. Yeah. 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 Philippians 4.19 contains a great promise that God will supply all your needs. Amen. These words are encouraging, very. But we can't afford to ignore the rest of the verse. Yeah. According to God's, according to his riches and glory, is the next part. According to his riches and glory. Hmm. Yeah. I got to repeat that. Now. Sure. According to his riches yeah. and glory. Yeah. Now, this part of the scripture, God put emphasis on his supply being sufficient. But it also reveals that all of his provisions are spiritual. Hmm. Right. We usually want God to provide for us. Financially, mm -hmm. physically, mm -hmm. uh, and he usually does, yeah. but in his time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> Do know that God is more concerned about the condition of your spirit. Yeah. Man, man. I said about your spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Your spirit. That's the only thing that don't die, y'all. Yeah. It's your spirit. God allowed Paul to be in the situation to minister to his brethren that was in prison. Boy, can I relate to that? Uh, just a quick testimony. I was incarcerated. Uh, for a while. But the last three years of my incarceration, I was in a re-entry program. Mm -hmm. uh, and the re-entry program consists of getting ready for to come out of prison into the world. Mm -hmm. uh, to be a more productive citizen mm -hmm. to society. Yes. Yeah. That was some work, y'all. 
That was some work, but let me make it quick. I was over a housing unit with 400 inmates, and I was considered a cadre, which is uh, a role model inmate. Thank you, dear. When we went to chapel on Sunday mornings, when I first got in this housing unit, it was like 40 people attending church on Sunday morning. In a year's time, that 40 inmates that was going to church on Sunday morning, we increased, just in my housing unit alone, uh, from 40 inmates to like 375 inmates. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, dear God. Thank you, dear God. Yeah. So I understand when Paul <laughs> was being used while he was incarcerated. Yeah. I do understand that. But you can't leave God out of your life. No. When no. the going get good. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, when the going get bad, we all call him. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know, when the going get good. Mom not get good. Okay, I got this. You can step aside. Now. Right, right. right. That's our worst, oh, yeah. worst thing that we could ever do. Yeah. 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 I witness to that. Because yeah. I have done. Yeah. To God be the glory. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't do it no more. Yeah. 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 Let me keep on with you. I had to get that testimony, y'all. Yeah. 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 Uh, when, I, when I was studying this, and, uh, and I spoke with Brother Mike, talking about Paul writing these books in prison. It's a whole lot of things you be wanting to do in prison, not writing no books. <laughs> but when you're working for God. See, Paul was spirit filled. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It ain't nothing like it. Amen. Now the last part of uh, the scripture, we usually leave out. You know, because we always say, well, God will supply all my needs. So I ain't going to worry about nothing. According to his riches and glory. We hear that a lot. But the last three words of this verse in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Hmm. These are the three most important words of the verse, but often left out. Mm. Yes, sir. They give the basis for the Lord's abundant supply. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with our hard work. How good we look. That's right. Oh. How bad we look. Oh. How much money we got. Yeah. Oh. How much money we don't got. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Big houses. Mm -hmm. A little apartment. Right. None of that. None of that. Right. None of that, y'all. Mm -hmm. Woo. Yeah. Has nothing to do with it. But it's based on, only on, I should say, on our relationship with God through his son, Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. Amen. As a parent, we have that responsibility for supplying the needs of our kids. Mm -hmm. yes. So if we can do that for our kids, That's right. we can't even imagine <laughs> being a child of God. Yeah. Amen. What he'll do for us. Amen. Right. 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 I'm going to leave y'all with a question. You don't have to answer it out loud. All right. You can take this one with you okay. for the meditation. Yeah. How has God provided for you in the midst of your storm? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. 